Let's try to simplify this. Find the values of each of the following. Okay. This is one single question. It looks pretty big. Yes, it looks pretty big. You observe that you have a sine inverse 2x of 1 plus x square. Cos inverse 1 minus y square upon 1 plus y square. Now this is of some particular form. Yes. If you observe carefully, this is of the form 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. This will become sine inverse sine 2 theta. Yes. This is 1 minus tan square theta 1 plus tan square theta which will become cos inverse cos 2 theta. Yes. So the formula that I'll require for simplifying this expression and finding the value are 2 tan theta over 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sine 2 theta. Not only that, I have another formula. What is that? 1 minus tan square theta over 1 plus tan square theta is equal to cos 2 theta. These are two formulae that I see over there and which will be useful for solving this question. What else? Is there anything else? Yes, I am given y greater than 0 mod x less than 1 and I am also given that the product of xy is less than 1. Okay, let's keep that in mind and try to solve this question further. Yes. Now, sin inverse 2x upon 1 plus x square. We'll have to substitute x equals tan theta or you can substitute tan inverse x equals theta. Let tan inverse x equals theta which gives me x equals tan theta. What about cos inverse 1 minus y square? Y has to be substituted as tan theta. We substituted x equals tan theta, right? So we'll have to use a different variable over there. In case of y, we can use y equals tan phi maybe, yes. So tan inverse y will be substituted as phi, let us say. Okay, this gives me y equals tan phi, yes, yes. Therefore, this expression, therefore, this expression, tan inverse of, what do you have over here? There's a half on the outside, there's a half outside there. Tan inverse half of this huge term, the bracket, that's sine inverse 2x over 1 plus x square plus cos inverse 1 minus y square over 1 plus y square. This is that, this is there, and this is what you have. This whole term will simplify into what? Let's see. This is tan inverse half of, observe, sine inverse 2 times tan theta. One plus tan square theta. Plus cos inverse. Instead of y, we have substitute tan phi. So let's write that. One minus tan square phi over one plus tan square phi. Since you have crossed this level, right? Next, next step will be to write this as tan inverse 1 by 2 is okay. Sin inverse, what is this? Sin inverse sin 2 theta. Plus cos inverse, this is again cos 2 theta. What about the values? Sorry, cos 2 phi, mind you. This is cos 2 phi. Cos inverse cos 2 phi. Right, this is what you have. What next? What about the values after this? Sin inverse sin 2 theta can be written in terms of theta, right? Cos inverse cos 2 phi can be written in terms of phi and the conditions that are given will be required, will be useful for that only. Sin inverse sin 2 theta, since mod x is less than 1, since mod x is less than 1, tan inverse, this will be theta lies in the interval minus pi by 4 to pi by 4. This will lie in the interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and yes, this will be equal to 2 theta simply. What about cos inverse cos 2 phi? Now observe, this phi for y greater than 0, tan inverse y will lie in the interval 0 to pi by 2, yes. 2 phi will lie in the interval 0 to pi. Therefore, cos inverse cos 2 phi is simply 2 phi. The output should lie in the interval 0 to pi, that is being done over here, yes. What next? This becomes, let's multiply this half inside now. This becomes theta plus phi. Okay, this becomes tan inverse theta plus phi. Now, what is theta? Observe. Theta, 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 theta is tan inverse x. Yes. Theta is tan inverse x. And we can substitute that very well. But if theta is 
tan inverse x this should be tan over here there should be a tan over here this there should be a there is a tan over here okay <laughs> so let's get rid of that this original question had tan of this yes we'll also take that this is not tan inverse this is tan of this tan of this and this is actually tan of this let's write that carefully now this is tan of theta plus phi right noting the question properly this is tan of theta plus phi which is tan of tan of i can write tan of theta plus phi as tan of theta plus tan of phi over 1 minus tan theta times tan phi yes and what will this be equal to tan theta is x tan phi is y over 1 minus x y that's your required value that's your required value of this question right you started with tan instead of tan it was not tan inverse it was tan okay right 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 and this is what you get after following these few steps at this stage we talked about the values these conditions were given so that sin inverse sin 2 theta becomes exact 2 theta and cos inverse cos 2 phi becomes exact 2 phi had these conditions not been given then we would have worried about a few more things in general but then NCID people only want this therefore we have done this is that all yes that's all in this question